Good morning guys and girls. Today is a very interesting species. Today is a species that you cannot actually target and I only know of a handful that have actually ever been caught and all of those have been by people not actually going for them and not actually hooked in the mouth. I, think, I don't know of any that have actually been probably hooked in the mouth, maybe one or two. Anyway, the sunfish. Now the scientific name Mola Mola comes from the wine but yeah it's one of those species that doesn't actively eat food that we can use to target them. They are a fish that likes to eat jellyfish and salt, so they're all jelly-filled type um, organisms that drift in the current. They are an oblong species. The best way to describe it is almost like your hand. Let's look at this. I know we use my hand a lot as these things, but excuse the bent pinky. You got a tire fish, that's his head on that side over there, very, very elongated and flat. And then his dorsal and anal fins sit very erect at the back and at the bottom, obviously. And they are long and rigid. They're not soft and flexible at the top. They sit down like that. And then he's got a very, very short sort of tire tail like that. So it's a fish unlike any other in terms of shape. He's sort of like your hand in, in, in shape. Very, very small mouth at the bottom, small eye. And his, your normal fish has got these has got gill plates that sit inside that, that can move. It's called a percular pumping. These uh, sunfish, the gill plate's actually been completely gone away with and all he's got is a small opening that serves as his gill. Uh, it's just a small opening on the side that can let the water in and out. Anyway, we mentioned they like eating jellyfish. That kind of alludes to where you're going to be finding these fish. They are, in terms of distribution they, it's, and movement, it's called circumglobal. They move from this side of the world to that. They are very, very long distance movers. They move from you're sort of the sunfish comes from the, uh, how they sit in the water. They often sun themselves on the surface to get nice and warm to warm up from their, their depths that they that they hunt at. They they'll go down to I think the maximum record is about 600 meters, which is phenomenal for a fish to be able to go that deep. And that's where they'll go and they'll hunt their jellyfish. Um, small little mouth, quite a rigid open mouth um, with uh, teeth that can sort of gnash the and break up the jellyfish like that. Now. Size-wise, the, they get to about three meters in length. That's from the nose all the way to the tip of the, the tail around the section. And they've been recorded at over 2.3 tons, which is phenomenal. I mean, that's that's just it's a gigantic, gigantic fish. Um, they are, as we mentioned, pelagic species. Um, guys on the boats will often see them. You won't really see them from the side unless they've been washed up. Um, we do every now and again do get them washed up. Obviously just old age or maybe hit by a boat or killed by something. Um, but yeah, you're gonna get them mostly in the warmer waters, um, but obviously all around the world that, that you're actually gonna be able to find them. So yeah, the sunfish, very, very interesting species, a phenomenal species in many different aspects. I mean, feeding only on jellyfish, getting up to over two tons, uh, three meters in length, down to 600 meters. It's, it's a species full of a lot of um, abilities that make it one of the extreme species that we need to talk about. But yeah, one that you can't really target, but it, it is a species that is definitely worth having a look at if you do get to see them on, on the offshore side of things. So yeah, the sunfish. Mola Mola. Cheers guys.